Where would baking soda be? It would be up in the at uh, the kitchen, right? Oh, thank God. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in some baking soda. You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The baking soda starts bubbling up, but then the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Whoop! We tried! I'll get you some rubber gloves! I'm the one who's going to have to get in there. But of course! I am but a dainty little lady! You can't expect me to do a man's job! Fine, just give me the gloves. Excuse me, thank you. Here you go! Have fun! And he Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out of the drain. A seemingly never ending amount of God knows what. Oh God, that is disgusting! Oh, I'm gonna gag! I bet you are. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Andy! Ha! He's gonna chuck it at her. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna chuck it at her. What a what a fun, cutesy little brother-sister moment after brutally murdering their parents and cutting up their bodies. Bold of you to call me that when I'm armed. Gasp! You wouldn't! Come here, you. Ah, no! No! Don't you dare! No! I'll fucking kill you in your sleep! Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew! Andrew! I'm sorry! I apologize! Fine. You are spared. For now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents. And disembowel them. And decapitate them. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of oscillating between freaking out and apathy, like you expected him to... Ugh. Who is it? What? No, nothing! Andrew! If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No! It's... it's really nothing! I must be seeing things. Ah! Uh, what? To think I'd ever bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. Oh! Right! Then again, I bet you're just moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh... You? Hmm, what? Are you doing alright? As alright as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. Oh. You're... The... Oh, Jesus Christ. This is so weird. This is so fucking weird. Being... Weird. Just, yeah, just smear your fucking parents' blood all over your sister. Look who's talking! Heh. <laughs> Alright, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. So what's the plan for all of this? We're to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah! But how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. What can we even do? Got a head. Got all the limbs. There's a lot of limbs. Got two torsos. Another head. And the organs. The fireplace! Oh! Can we burn the bodies here? It would be like cremation! There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo-hoo! Watch! Burn the house down! You place all the you place the torsos above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes and lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute! God damn! This isn't working. Makes me kinda hungry though. <sighs> Let's leave this be for now. Oh! I know! Let's turn some of 
the meat into a soup! Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices, and then throw the rest away as scraps! What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some! Do what you want. What was that soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful! It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. There! There we go! Thank you! I knew you memorized it! You fucking nerd! You're welcome. Yeah, he's a nerd for having a good memory. So we are going to fucking cook and eat our parents! Oh, I have to chop that shit up. Limbs, limbs, skin the heads, got two faces and skulls. Jesus Christ! Fucking Jesus, dude! What do I do with the faces? Make masks out of them? I don't know, throw them in the fireplace. And what about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. You got the potatoes and the chopped potatoes, you got the onions and the chopped onions and, and the chopped carrots. Look at that! Much better than your soup! Now, was there anything else we still needed to deal with? Do the faces into the fire. While your parents might belong in the trash, it isn't a good idea to dunk them in here as they are. Maybe if the bodies look less conspicuous. Oh. No, actually, you pour your parents' organs in the blender. That's what you fucking do. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge, all of which you pour down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good is gone! I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. What? Did you want a disease or something? Of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat! You really take me for an idiot, don't you? I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth! This idiot just poured your parents down the drain! Heh. <laughs> Alright. That was pretty smart, I guess. For an idiot. Wow, how charming. Clean the fucking blender! Do you think the soup is ready yet? Ah, uh, the soup. Dinner is ready! I'm eating two. Of course! This is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while, after all! I suppose. That's right! Now say ah! Uh. uh. Unexpected. Okay. I mean, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Mom's just a dry person, all right? And how the hell is it dry? This is soup! No. Mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I rate this a waste of ingredients out of ten. Would not eat again. You will retract that statement at once! I slave away in the kitchen for you, and this is the thanks I get? I'm sorry you can't cook. You're not forgiven! Oh? Jackass! Eat shit and die! Well, this food is certainly shit. Well, come on, I'm just joking. It's not that bad. It's fine. More than fine! Yes, yes, it's fantastic in a way my dumb ass can't appreciate. How about that? Why, yes, indeed. This cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct! An out-of-this-world culinary experience, which the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Bubba, can you cook a person? Could you do it? Can you do it well? I think you could. Because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all the subtleties. Truly, when I said waste of ingredients, I meant it as, an, as it's a waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should only be fed to kings. No, gods. That's more like it! So exquisite is your cooking that I will write you a shitty poem about it. Oh, god! Ha ha! Lo and behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her. Oh, and there is food too. Ease your weary soul. She's brewed a bra to give you quite the fright. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips, quarter past midnight. 
Should I buy lip balm? And the meat isn't dried, goddamn! It's just right! <laughs> ah, whatever! Humans are hard to cook! I'll get it next time! But next time? Ah, whatever. Anyhow, I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities. But we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup! While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. It should be fine to just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Human soup. Don't worry too much. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Ah, uh, right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't worry even if I told you to. I need to figure out what I have to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bags. The flesh has burned into charcoal, but the bones remain. We put them in one of the trash bags. What other bones do we have? So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? When did we do all this other crap for? Quiet, you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records, I guess. You guess? How nice! Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. Oh beloved now? Oh, but they're getting like more and more and more and more blatant. But they're not there yet. Which frustrates me. I'm hoping one can identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float though? Aren't they look kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down just in case. So we lose the teeth, bag the bones with some rocks. And call it a day! Got it! Right. Oh, Jesus. Got a whole bunch of teeth. Got all the teeth. Now you just gotta find a way to get rid of them. What the fuck do I possibly- Oh. You flush the teeth down the toilet. Takes a few tries for them all to flush. There. All gone. You wish you could do this to all of your problems. Toothless skull. To the skull. The fucking music cut out. Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Ah! Do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents rent or whatever. I wish we could, but eventually someone is going to go. Hey, Mr. Mrs. Graves hasn't shown up to work in a while. So they get fired, so what? I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they are apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice them gone, despite their names still being on the door. We can tell some lie! Say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores! Why weren't they happy with just each other's? I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant! It's all the same! Anyway. They can't all go, haven't heard from those two in a while, oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities, and who will they find here? Their children, who didn't report their parents missing. Officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so! It's not that I don't want to. It's just I don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves! We'd run into the same problem as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. Sigh! Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that easy. Whatever! I'll clean the basement then. You are Ashley. God damn it, I really thought we were in the clear after all this! Ah, oh, whatever, I'm gonna need a mop. An excellent mop. Should I put the candles back in the box too? Yes, absolutely. Go, come on. Returned all the candles in the box. All done! Are we ready to go? I think so. No, there's no way to tell if we miss something still. Other than maybe see if you have a dream where we got caught, I guess. I offer two souls! So it stands to reason 
I have at least two visions to come! How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Now that your mother is dead, there's no need to sleep down here with the sewage stent. Oh, okay. So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell if I remember! You don't... Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness! It's been a week or two! And up yours! You didn't even remember our parents' address! Which is, of course, just as important as this. Look, it just said that I need to hold on to it to have clairvoyant dreams, that's it! It was in my pocket last time when it happened! Then could I hold it this time? It gave it to me! So maybe it wouldn't work with you! What's it hurt to try? God, you can't read between the lines for shit! That was me telling you no! I did get it, I just don't care. Stop being so selfish in the, all the time and let me try. It's my trinket! Uh, ever... Uh, ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this? Do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that's a great idea. No, just... We're not cutting it! That's not it. But I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. See if either of us gets a vision. How? It's a bit small. This is it. This is how the stream ends. This is how it ends. I waited three hours for this. We're gonna see them fuck. Between our hands, right? Oh my! How romantic! Come again. Holding hands when we sleep together! Man, fuck off. <laughs> All right, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's fine. Though I still think I'm going to be the one who has a vision. We'll see. Oh, dear God. Good night! Ban incoming! <laughs> Good night. Just go to sleep, Andrew. Fuck this! How am I supposed to sleep after you went and said something so off color? <laughs> and it doesn't help at all. Mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah, I heard that! Oh god. You did, huh? So it's that little show about earlier. So, so that's what that little show was about earlier. Did you see her face? That was great! I hope she regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. If for once she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. What? Nothing. Good night. He was thinking about it. He was thinking about un unzip it and dip it. It wasn't long until sleep takes you over. God, got a pink plushie, a sucky drawing, and more sucky drawings. Am I dumb? Like, why am I not? Uh oh, oh, got a red crayon. Ah, one of these little puzzles. Got a green crayon. Crayon. I think it's static. Oh. The TV and you watch each other. More importantly, this episode is titled Lele and Lele Alone. Pink plushie sits by itself. I'll take it. Mother plushie won't budge. Father plushie won't budge. Got a green plushie. Got a stool. Sit down the... Pink plushie fell off the seat. Hold on. Pink plushie. Oh. 
The plushies seem happy together. Ah. Yellow plushie won't budge. Purple plushie won't budge. In an empty spot. Trash is locked. Soup is brewing. That is one. Uh, can I get the dinner? Place down a stool. Sit down the pink. But it fell right off. But what if I sit down? Oh my god. Plushy fell. God damn, these fu this pink bitch! Yeah, Rick, just do a fucking little puzzle. Place the. But what if we place a green one? Ah! Got dad. Got mom. Threw mom and dad in the pot. Okay. Purple hussy. Yellow floozy. This plushie appears to be quite the ladies' man. Place the yellow plushie in the trash. A bit of wishful thinking, perhaps. Put the purple plushie in the chest. There's nothing in the cage. Got the best thing in the world. There, all better. In my own little cage. Alright, no more puzzles, please. Just end the chapter. I need to end this fucking stream. I'm dying. <sighs> okay. Got a knife. Enamored evening. Got a flower. Move the knife. Place down the flower. Got a broken heart. Got sunshine. Got a heart. Finally, he monster. Got... Put the heart there. Put the broken heart there. Put sunshine there. Hold on. I took this. I took this. I took this. What if I... Put the heart there. Put the sunshine there. And put the broken heart... Somehow it seems like a highly questionable idea to take this route. Um... Classmates. Friends. Siblings. Parents. Got a green plushie. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. Andrew. Penny for your thoughts? Penny for your thoughts? No deal. Come on! Come on! Give me one word! We did it. We fucked our sister. We fucked the shit out of our sister. Mortifying. Huh? Didn't seem like it a minute ago. A minute? So I think you meant to say gratifying. Big words don't fit in your mouth. Yes, yeah, something. <laughs> this is.
it's it's one thing to like make a joke, make a stupid little joke about it, right? It's it's another thing entirely when the game is just like, yeah, we fucked. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, I fucked the shit out of my sister. Game of the fucking century. Something else fit in it just fine earlier. Ah, uh, I shoved my cock in my sister's mouth. Oh yeah, so mortified, aren't you? Are you? You know I'm easy to distract. Some guilty conscience you've got! Better than yours. Come here, you. Ah! Wait! Gently! Gently, goddammit! Oh. The vision ends without you dying. So at least there's that, you suppose. Well... You wonder if Andrew saw it, too. Our inevitability, our canon event, is we fuck. Oh no! Oh no. Mayhaps. Oh shit, you're awake. Well, hello to you, too! Uh, yeah, good morning, or evening, I guess, whatever. Right! So, hey, did you get a vision? Probably not. Really? Do you see dreams like that a lot, then? I don't. Bah! So you did see it! She's so nonchalant. She's so fucking nonchalant! She is so nonchalant about that. Quite the vision, huh, big brother? That was not a vision. The demon is messing with us. Yeah, that's it. That's just it. It's because we tried to be cheap and get two visions for the price of one. So it gave us a fake vision instead. That's the only explanation that makes sense. Oh, please! I mean, it is your trinket. Clearly, you were right and I wasn't supposed to use it. Sure, sure! Keep selling it! I'm totally buying! Screw you. Yeah, you just... You just might! Fuck off. Do you honestly think that? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Listen here, you. Fucking spare me. I don't want to hear it. You just helped me desecrate our parents' corpses. Yet getting laid is what you're freaking about. Yeah, with my fucking sister, though. With my fucking sister, though. Like, there's a bit of a difference there, Ashley. No one got laid. And you keep telling me I messed up. What a joke. Oh god, he's having a crisis of faith. Maybe he doesn't want to fuck his sister. We're not like that, are we? Yes, 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 we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We absolutely are. I don't... I don't know. You just come off that way sometimes. Huh? How so? A tad jealous. Oh dear. What's that? Wishful thinking? Tell that to my ex. Let's not pretend you don't have a bit of a jealous streak yourself. Now that's wishful thinking. Fat chance! Get over yourself! Sigh. I don't think I need to ask you this, but let me anyway. It's never gonna come to that r- Dude, I'm- I'm- I can't save! Never fucking say never. Like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Never say never, Andrew, my dear. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Dude, he's losing his mind. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't joke about this. Why? Am I getting your hopes up? Or maybe something else? <laughs> Say, did that vision get you? I'm out of here. Why is this such a massive issue to you? We've done way worse things together. Why is that not a massive issue to you? I, I honestly figured it would happen eventually. Look, dog, I'm, I'm waiting for it. I'm, I'm up for it when you're up for it. <laughs> I'm waiting. Why, 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 why are you like this? Why would you say this? Why would you think this? I'm... Wow, what a landmine, huh? Yeah, for some reason, it's a weird, controversial topic. <laughs> well, yeah. 
Ah, forget this. Forget this old thing. Fine. But that was clearly a vision, so it'll probably come up sooner or later. Well, in your last vision, a guy slit our throats. Yet here we are. So let's just leave it at that. Alright then, if you say so. Andrew sweeps the elephant under the rug and calls it a day. Anyway, let's go throw mom and dad into the ocean, yeah? Let's see what the other option was. Oh, I probably should have saved it. Ah, whatever, we'll just redo it. Nah, it's fine, we'll just redo it. Later, in the next stream. So, sunshine here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Broken heart. And that, okay, let's see what this is. It seems like the same path to take. Oh! Spirit? In the trash. Oh god, it's one of these puzzles. Bottle the spirit. The spirit. An entity has appeared. There's not enough sticks to carry your way. Place down all the sticks. Thank you. There you are! Finally! Huh? It's into the bottle with you now! Just kidding! Haha! <laughs> Let's get you out of here before it finds us! Huh? Andrew? Andrew, where are you? Right here. What the hell? Don't just run off like that! Did you see any visions? I take it that you didn't. No, I couldn't sleep. Well, I think I saw some vision. But it didn't seem like anything important. So we're literally fine with groping our sister, sleeping in the same bed, choosing her as our life partner, cannibalism, murder, patricide, and matricide, and summoning a demon and feeding people to it. But when we draw the line of putting our dick in it, I said this the last fucking stream. If I have all these crimes, tack on fucking my hot sister. Might as well. I was just I was just collecting ghosts or something. Nothing about getting caught? Nope, not a thing. Huh. Okay. I guess that's a good sign. Wait, did you say you couldn't sleep? Yes. Oh my! And for a moment there, I thought you had changed. What do you want about? Hee <laughs> hee! Nothing, nothing! So what are we eating? Come on, you can tell me all about it! Oh, I don't know. Something about getting caught red-handed? Not the parenticide itself? Come on, let's go dish the bones already. Every second we waste it is a second we get risk getting caught. Okay... Now let's go back again. So... So this is what we're gonna do. This is the path that we have chosen! Somehow, it seems like a highly questionable idea to take this route. I know what I'm fucking about, dude. We will place this green plushie and play and, and 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 put them wherever we must to make sure that we erase all other people from our lives. So I can finally just fucking tear that ass up. You know what I'm saying? He tore her. He she, he literally tore her ass up too. You see, fucking her makeup's running and shit. Her hair's all tussled. You rearrange her guts like a fucking laundry machine. Big words don't fit in your mouth. Yeah! Something else fit in it just fine earlier! I'm alluding to your cock! <laughs> My cock, I say. <laughs> I missed the fucking No, we just started! No, well, no, we. this is what happened last time! We, we did this last time! Th that was the fucking choice! That was the fucking choice! Literally, it hasn't happened yet. I, sh I guess I should clarify. This is a this is a vision of the future. So the official fucking has not happened yet. So this is just like it's like Doctor Strange, like you know, looking all at the fourteen trillion potential universes, and you never fuck your sister in one. So it's like an inevitability. It's a canon event. How do you know so much about this? Because I've been playing the fucking game, Captain Jeff. I've been paying attention to this thrilling and, and intriguing narrative, all right? This is Shakespeare level writing. This honestly is like a Shakespearean tragedy because their mother failed them and abandoned them and wrote them off as a tax write off. And their only comfort was each other. And they had sex. This man is horned up. I specific, the reason why I'm turning to say, I specifically blew a load 
before I came onto this stream, so I would not get horned up. So I can actually focus on the video game without a massive throbber in my pants. So I didn't have to worry about that shit. Anyway, 100% true. I want to know what's going on in Ashley's head. I mean, I'm literally playing the character, but I, I want like a psychological deep dive. Like, is this, like, there's got it, like, the Vileye has to do a video about these two. <laughs> the Vile Eye has to do a fucking video of analyzing evil on these, on the Grave Twins. That would be fucking amazing. I would watch that, I'd promote that fucking video. Anyway, let's go throw mom and dad into the ocean, yeah. Oh yeah, we have to dispose of the bodies. I forgot about that. Let's take a sex toy, oh no. Oh no! My our parents' skulls. <laughs> what a funny little quirky moment. <laughs> oh no! I dropped my parents' fucking skulls. Nothing. They they got shit to say. I hate you. It's not my fault. The stupid bag ripped on its own. Last time I drank so much, I I bit my tongue a lot, and I didn't really notice it until after. And I, I, I'm only saying that because I kind of bit it again. I hope I don't do that. Or uh, I got a fat tongue. I don't care. Hurry up and hurry up and pick them up. Oh wait, gotta talk to my bro. Thank God no one is here at this hour. Interesting. Just a funny little moment. Vroom vroom. Yeah, let's drink more. We need more rumple mints, god damn it! Oh, what a beautiful city known as Philadelphia. Okay. So don't stray too far into the light. I wonder if that's meta commentary. That's that's meant to describe Ashley's character. Just in case someone does pass by. Oh shit. Dump him. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke! How do you think we make sure the skulls sink? They'll probably be fine. Well, in that case... Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Bet I can throw further than you! Bet you can. Oh, what a cute little moment betwixt brother and sister. Let's just, let's just look at them for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's fucking chuck our parents. Oh, yeah! Definitely. On the count of three! One, two... Oh, shit! Ah! He fucking chucked her. Yeah, the whole family's there. It's a nice family reunion. Oh, what's that? Looks like I won. Filthy cheat! Nope. You never said pushing wasn't allowed. Oh, uh, look at him. <laughs> They're just having a cute little fun time together. Oh, yeah! Well, here's your fucking prize, jackass! A fist to the fuck! Aw, oh, a hug. Why, thank you, thank you. Look at her fucking Louis Vuitton shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Neuron activation. They're getting so tender with each other. We just chucked our, our actual families into the fucking ocean. Sure hope that, uh, no one saw. Oh no. You're a little different lately. Am I no fun anymore? I thought they were gonna kiss. Hmm, more like, let me think. How have you been sleeping lately? Are you actually looking for a fight? I'm not talking about that. I mean, just in general. Your insomnia and nightmares. How are those? Oh, he's so damaged. This incest is weird. Yeah, it shouldn't, yeah, I know. It's it's. Uh, I think you mean weirdly wholesome, wholesome heckin' one hundred. I gotta see what, what fucking Reddit says about this game. I bet they're one hundred percent for it. Ah, uh, it's been decent, all things considered. Yeah. Unexpectedly, you seem to be doing just fine. Yep. Having a, another tender little moment. Well, don't be happy for me or anything. Ha! Andy is all grown and doesn't need me anymore! If that was the fucking case, Ashley, you would be dead. You would be fucking dead. Andy is dead. 
I don't think he needs anything. You killed him. You killed him, Ashley. You shouldn't get upset about that. Even so, there's the trinket, too. You're apparently the only one allowed to use it, so there's that. I don't know about that, but it certainly showed me one way to keep him around. Ah. Oh, no. I'll simply seduce him with this tight, fat, juicy... Pussy! I'll blow your fucking ears out. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, she's a... Hey, I suppose! Right. I'm honestly pissed we don't know what's coming next. Yeah, I don't know what's fucking coming next, Andrew. It's really hard to plan what to do now. Alright! So what do we do? The money has bought us some time. But we still need to find ourselves new identities. Do we really, though? Can't we just live in the car? And mug random people for a living? That's just not going to work for very long. Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. Then can't we buy fake identities? I know people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them, and I'll get right on that. Ah! That cultist club seems like a really sketchy spot! Maybe someone there knows someone who sells them! Probably not, though. Stop being such a defeatist! Let's go take a little look-see! It's a crap idea to go anywhere near where we killed that guy. Also, that motel was the only one letting us stay with cash only! Fine. But we're leaving the car in some random parking lot. Since there's definitely an ongoing investigation for that hitman's death. Right, cool, whatever! Let's get going! Smoking a fucking dart. I had a mole here? That's the incest mark. That's th that's like the black spot from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> it, it, it denotes people who want to have sex with their siblings. Interesting. Are you coming or what? In a minute, let me finish this. Waste of time and... Oh, sorry. Waste of time and money! I love it! Oh, shit! He's been marked. Yeah, huh Glad to hear it. <gasps> the stream was 20 minutes long! Are you fucking kidding me?! End of episode 2. Want to save the game? Yes. <gasps> no! You're fucking kidding me! You can continue playing the fucking game once I update! I knew that episodic video games are fucking dog shit, dude!